Liverpool have decided to wait to sign Kefren Taram until after the U21 Euros. This makes no sense. I, I don't get it. FSG and our transfer strategy is about as useful as football cleats on a basketball court. A lighthouse without a light. It, it doesn't make sense. Why would you wait until after a tournament to agree a deal with the team? Like, I get it. If it was the player. The player was like, hey, I want to wait till after the Euro to focus on my playing and then go and talk to you guys. That's one thing. That's one thing, right? Another thing is to not agree terms with the team because you're afraid of injury happening during the tournament. It, it's just the biggest bunch of BS I've heard. And coming from FSG and Liverpool, it, it's not a surprise. It's not a surprise. We do this all the time. And, of course, you have FSG fanboys who are like, oh, my God, this is so smart. I, I, I couldn't have thought of this myself. FSG are, are the greatest thing to ever exist because look at Kata. Like, okay, that, that's one example. What, what team looks at a player, we want this guy, but we're afraid of injury, so we're going to wait to see if he gets injured. Who, who does that? You take the risk because it's a sport where people are going to be injured, some more than others, but you take the risk. All right, this guy's going to be, we think he's going to be up here with his potential. We think he's going to be a really good player for us for years to come. Let's get the deal done. You don't you don't sit back and just wait. Well, he might get injured, man. So let, let's wait until he does get injured. So that way we say, oh, we don't, we didn't want to sign him. Good thing we waited because he got injured at some point playing a sport where you're going to get injured. It, it makes no sense. This is one of the few target. This is the only target that we are realistically going after that I like. Kefren Taram has it factor. He's a really good player. He's someone who can add something to our Liverpool midfield that's been missing for years. Not this, not Kone, who's average at best. Mickey Van de Ven, who's average at best. The, the, those guys aren't good enough. And if we don't get Taram, we're not getting Chuamane. I don't know why they keep trying to convince us that Chuamane is a realistic option. Madrid have said multiple times they're not letting go of him. He's ours. We believe in him. So uh, stop, stop trying to convince us that this is going to happen because we know it's not. The ones with brains know it's not happening. It's... It's crazy. Because we're not we're not going to sign Nico Borella either if Taram gets injured. We're, we're not paying 80 mil for him. We, we didn't even want to pay 50 mil for him. So let, let's be for real. We're, I, don't, I don't know where we go from here if Taram doesn't get signed. Are we really going to sit back and accept Kone and think and convince ourselves that he's a top talent when he's not? There's a reason why we're the only big club that wants him. It's, it's a lot being a Liverpool fan. It's it's tough. It's tough sometimes. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Do you guys think that I'm being a little bit over dramatic and that we should wait for until after to agree terms with the team, not the player, but the team on a deal? When if he does really well in this tournament, this is why a more reason why I'm upset because if he does well in the tournament. His price is going to go up. So instead of getting him for 40-ish mil, we might have to pay 50 mil in, instead. Or maybe the price stays the same, but another team says, oh, he performed really well. Let's let's shoot our shot and see what happens. Because we know if there's a bidding war, we just fold and crumble like a wet cookie. It, it, it's not looking good for us. We wanted Klopp wanted all his players to come in before preseason, and we have one signing. And the Euro is three weeks long, so and it's France. They're probably going to go make a very very deep run into this tournament. They're not going to be knocked out in the group stages or the first round more than likely. So it's it's like 
How are you going to do Klopp like that? How are you going to do Klopp like that? Klopp's giving us everything. And we expect him just to be a miracle worker every time. Like, we're... Klopp, Liverpool's a ship, right? We have a great captain in Jurgen Klopp. But if we have no sails for this ship, how can we go anywhere? If we don't bring in players, how can we win games? You can't expect Harvey Elliott to do well when he's not a midfielder. You can't expect Bacetic to be world-class game in, game out, or even really good because he's still a teenager. You can't expect Tiago to stay healthy when every year he's been here, he's, he's shown that he's not healthy. We did it last season. We hoped that Ox would be healthy when he's shown us year after year he doesn't stay healthy. We did it with Firmino. We did it with Keita. We do it with all these guys and just like, well, we don't need these signings because if these guys, if everything goes according to plan, we're going to be, we're going to win everything, but that's not how life goes. You don't get to plan something per and it perfectly falls in line. That's not how life works. You have to plan, you have a plan, and then you have a backup plan. And you might even have a backup to the backup plan, but we don't do that. We have one option and it's, hey, don't spend money and hope that the guys that we do have somehow do something. Expecting Tyler Morton to come in and put in a shift is ridiculous. There's a reason why he was on loan, because he's not good enough to play for us. Ben Doik was on loan because he's not good enough to play for us. Connor Bradley's on loan because he's not good enough to play for us. It just doesn't make sense, man. I, I'm tired of seeing all these other teams. Barca just signed Gundogan, and they have no money to spend. Why, why aren't we doing this? Chelsea had all this dead wood, and they're able to get rid of all these players now. Find ways to get things done. All, every other club finds ways to get things done, except for us. We drag our feet, and our fans just eat it up. They're like, oh, my God, FSG can never do anything. Like, come on. Come on. It, it's ridiculous. It's it's embarrassing, honestly. I, I don't even know what to say. Anyway, that's, that's enough of my ranting for the day. If you guys agree with me, let me know in the comments. Or if you disagree and think that it's smart for us to not pursue them until after because of injury, then let me know that as well. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day. If you could, like the video if you've gotten this far. Um, I know most of you guys only watch the first couple minutes, so I try to make those as entertaining as possible now. But if you have stayed this long, then thank you. I appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Other than that, go watch some of my other videos on the other channel. Have some other good content that you guys would like, especially if you're Liverpool fans. And I hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.